So first spot of the day, this is called Ivy Thorn Hill, uh, it's near Street, Glastonbury, all that area and this used to be thriving with mountain biking. I mean you can kind of see some of the jumps that are still kind of visible. I'm not sure exactly what kind of happened here but uh, someone's actually put some of the stuff back in. I came here a few years ago and there was like nothing left but going back sort of, I don't know, 10-15 years, showing my age, this place used to be epic. But uh, I mean, some of it's still actual kind of visible, rideable. Some of it's a little bit crusty, but I'm sure I'll be able to work something out. So uh, I'm gonna work my way around these woods, jump things, jump stuff, and then uh, move on to the next set of woods. What's well, actually down here? So yeah, you can kind of see there used to be a jump there. That was a kind of double. Come over this kind of brow here. This was one big berm. Oh my God, they've actually brought that double back to life. Oh, maybe it's better than I actually thought. in my pants, you know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Huh. So yeah, spot number one, done. Uh, it's got some cool jumps in that in those woods, but it's a bloody nightmare. You can't just, you can't relax. I'll do a lap through, all sweet, go back through and someone's just sat in the middle of a bloody path. So what I did, I did a bit of a indecent exposure, but like not too much. So I got in my pants and as I went past her, she looked at me like, oh, you ghastly man. And I think like, cause it's like really, really warm at the moment. And I'm at that age where my testicles are like, dropping really low. I'm pretty sure as I went past it was kind of like swaying out. So I think she got a little bit of sort of testicle action and she soon moved off the path to the side. She's like, ugh. So I think yeah. I think I might have like sort of scrotum her face. She got a bit of scrotum in the face. So uh, yeah. She got a tea bag job. <laughs> tea bagged. I tea bagged her by accident. So uh, she soon moved to the side. So yeah, woodland number two is uh, a no-go there is no sort of path anywhere there's a main like sort of path that goes through the middle but it's all pretty much flat the hill that goes down the backs for the horses and cows and shit so uh so if you go into a set of woods and there is no jumps whatsoever this is the quickest way to make a jump uh you look to your side there'll be there'll be branches and logs somewhere and if you stack these logs right you can make a booter so that is a plan. I'm gonna make a little booter in the middle of this path. I'll move it after, you know, I'm not digging anything. See how far I can send it on my homemade booter. Again. Falling on my nostrils. What's that about? Got to break it in half, haven't you, to get it in there? Like, we're looking good so far. not my fault I'm lifting stuff mm -hmm. oh shit me ah we're getting there you can kind of see the shape I'm going with we'll go a little bit higher make it a little bit longer oh that's, that's brilliant bloody marvellous isn't it so that is how you make a jump without actually digging anything 
this is like a perfect how-to. Like I say, you go into the woods, there's nothing there. Little, little logs and stuff, you just stack them up, wedge them in, and that is your jump. And you're all laughing right now, but uh, how far can I actually go off of that? 10,000 meters. I think I can land where you are. We'll get a one massive slow-mo, boom. Oh, it worked. Told you, it actually works. It just makes for a little bump. I mean, the logs are gonna move a little bit. You just wedge them back in. But uh, you kind of find a root on the floor, wedge it all against. So we're gonna try again. They do want us here. He snapped one. Oh, it worked. Chuck it off the side. Get it all off the path. Done. Oh, she thinks you're throwing a stick. <laughs> <laughs> He's shy. He's a bit of a madam. <laughs> oh, go get it. <laughs> no, don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. See? Jump was here, jump is now gone. So, yeah, I know I did a little bit. I had a dog chasing me a little bit as well. Yeah. Because it's a little bit short, the faster you go, it's like a boom boom. But it's surprising how far it actually does send you. And that's it, look, see? Stack a few logs, jump it, and then you just put the logs back in the side. Of that, just sort of hidden in the woods. Uh, Admiral Hood Monument, just randomly come across it walking up through. Uh, yeah, we're at Polden Way footpath. Oh my good god, that is insane! <laughs> what I can't even explain how big that is. So now I've got the bike back to this monument because it looks unreal. And we're going to use this monument as my kind of drop off to do the line down there because this place looks crazy loads of natural gems so yeah that line goes right towards this gate so uh quite there's more stuff up there so yeah that trail will be sick i reckon so i plant you in there somewhere you can kind of listen out for the gate and anyone coming that way all right cool thanks grace starting on this monument has to happen it looks so good so so good. Oh my word. Right. Hi at So yeah, I'm gonna get my balance out and see if I can kind of ride along this log for a laugh. Oh, oh that was cool. Oh. Killed it. So yeah, I just found a double coming on the way back. You got a stump and a stump. So I'll use that stump to clear that stump. Yeah, perfect. It's got a massive lip on it. And uh, I pretty much used that as a landing. Yeah, it was perfect. Well done, Grace getting all the angles and stuff. Right, my bike's here somewhere. 
Someone's hit me bike, Grace. Now this is where things get interesting. There is a gully down here that looks mental. Oh, no. What the hell is that? Oh my good God. Now I'll be back up in a minute. I need to see where it goes. It's like steps and it reminds me of like chimney at corn talks, but more extreme. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I am definitely coming down this. Yeah, it's unreal. Water must just rush down this in the uh, winter. I think if you try and like just keep up on the sort of side, you'll be all right. You're gonna get snagged up if you uh, get it wrong, but yeah, I reckon if you film from here, I'll just come in there, try and make it through this, then let's carry all the way down. I've got rid of most of like the dodgy twigs that are sort of uh, dangling down, and we'll just see how it goes. You are mental. See how this goes. Coming down, Grace, I think. Oh my God, it hit my bars on the tree. Oh my God, I can't really see anything. Everything's so bouncy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, fuck, no. I didn't get rid of them. Oh my god. Oh god, it gets in here. What on earth? <laughs> no way. Christ. If that was fully clear up through there, oh my god, you gave that some beans. That must be on trail forks. It's got to be. There's no way no one has gone down that before. Yeah, I didn't clear this. Quite like, maybe took me fucking eyes out. Just in case anyone else comes down it, do them a bit of a favour. Oh. That's better. <sighs> yeah, very similar to the chimney. You get caught in this gully, your pedals kind of hit the sides, you've got to kind of like cut it around. There was one point when my uh, bars hit something, but uh, I'm quite sure that's rugged. But uh, fully clear now. I got rid of all the sort of brambles couple of twigs and shit. Probably better for a full downhill rig because this is a lot steeper than it looks. I'm telling you that now. Oh my God. Bloody lovely, isn't it? Can't be a good old view. Oh my God. I might just have to do this hill bomb straight down through as a little finisher. Ah, Olden Way Hill Bomb. God, you can actually get inside it. You've actually smoothened it out. Remember those little finger skateboards? You could literally like ride it as a full pipe. You're gonna push you in. Look, that's it. That's it. Get your booty in there. Now you're stuck. So I pull you through. No, I'm right. You sure? Yeah. 
What? What? <laughs> it's like a smooth bore. Yes, Grace. That is cozy. Getting down with nature. You know, it starts raining, you got somewhere to go? No. Booty stuck. Yep. Oh, my lovely lady hums. Check me out. So yeah, it's that sad point of the video where I love you and leave you. You're like, oh my God, this video is so good. I don't want it to end, but it's got to end. Me and Grace are currently uh, venturing around a whole new set of woods. And uh, this will be the next video, just for lols and stuff. It looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah, I reckon that. Grace is going to join me on the next ride as well. So, yeah. I don't think you're supposed to be walking on this, but we're kind of listening out for mountain bikers. They understand the crack. But uh, yeah, this video is pretty much just drive along, stop in a set of woods, random set of woods, see what's in there, carry on. Making something out of nothing. And uh, if you find yourself in a set of woods, no jumps. Remember the log trick, pile up your logs, launch off it. It'll put your nose over, you hit it too fast, but it's all logs and stuff. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Oh, boy for now. We have no idea where we are actually, to be honest. Difficult. I'll be well up your street. Another little double ear in that. Grace will be straight in the valley. <laughs>